This is Extra Frame Online Bowling Channel, the 2011-12 Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year Award Show, brought to you by Ebonite. Bowl to win. For more information, visit ebonite.com. Also brought to you by Brunswick. By Storm, the bowler's company. By Track, Evolutionary, Revolutionary. By Roto Grip, king of them all. By Hammer, nothing hits like a hammer. By DV8, damn good bowling. By Columbia, Columbia bowls the world over. By 900 Global. And by Etonic. And hello again, everybody. Mike J. Laneside live from 10 Pin Bowling Lounge in downtown Chicago, Illinois, for a first ever Extra Frame exclusive, the live announcement of the 2011-2012 Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year Award. The players are here along with PBA Tour Commissioner Tom Clark, and there they are. And very, very shortly, we will have the live announcement of this season's PBA Player of the Year Award. But first, the Professional Bowlers Association awarded Regional Players of the Year awards. Let's take a look right now at our PBA Regional Players of the Year. We start in the Southwest region. Congratulations to Sean Swanson. Four tournaments, two wins, and a fifth place finish good for $9,920. The PBA Central Region Player of the Year, Mr. Detroit Mason Brantley. 15 tournaments with two seconds, four thirds, a fourth, and a fifth. PBA East Region Player of the Year is John Fury. 16 tournaments, one win, one fourth, two seconds for $10,055. In the PBA South Region, the Player of the Year there is Scott Newell. 13 tournaments, one win, two runners up, two thirds, and two fourths. Player of the Year in the Midwest region is Jason Wojnar. Ten tournaments, one win, one third place, two fourths, and a fifth. Good for $9,920. And a doubling up in the PBA West region and PBA Northwest region, the Player of the Year there is Brian Smith. Two wins in the Northwest and three in the West. There you are, the 2011-12 PBA Regional Players of the Year. And there is PBA Commissioner Tom Clark with Jason Belmonte, Mike Fagan, Sean Rash. Soon to come is the announcement on this year's Player of the Year. And we had a chance to take a look at the highlights and put together a package for you. Let's take a look at our finalists in action. The 2011-2012 Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year race is one of the closest ever. Three players set themselves apart from the rest throughout the season and have been chosen by their peers as the finalists for the prestigious award. The first finalist is Jason Belmonte, who rolled a televised 300 game at the PBA World Championship and won three PBA Tour events. He also finished in the top 10 in each of the PBA's four major championships and ranked in the top three in earnings, average, and points. The second finalist is Mike Fagan. Fagan won two times this season, including the USBC Masters, and also finished second in a memorable United States Open final. He closed the season with a fourth place finish in the PBA Tournament of Champions, and ranked in the top three in earnings, average, and TV appearances. And our third finalist is Sean Rash, who dominated the qualifying portion of the PBA World Series of Bowling leading the PBA World Championship by more than 200 pins. 
He also led the PBA Tournament of Champions, winning the title to cap off a season in which he paced the tour with eight top five finishes. He also led the tour in earnings, average, and points for the season. Back to live now prior to our Geico PBA Summer Shootout, which will start taping today at noon. If you're in the Chicago area, I invite you by today or tomorrow at 1 o'clock for live PBA action here at 10-Pin as we tape the Geico PBA Summer Shootout. And before we go to our commissioner with our live announcement on the player of the year as the fellas are chatting it over, I had a chance to catch up with each of our finalists. Mike Fagan, PBA Player of the Year caliber season. State your case to win that title. I don't know if I have much of a case. I mean, the other two guys had, Jason and uh, Sean, had great years as well. I mean, we'll see kind of what the voters say. Um, the voters think the majors come up stronger, then, you know, might have a chance. We'll see what happens. And what would it be, uh, what would it mean to you to be named by your peers as the Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year? Well, I haven't really thought a whole lot about it, honestly. I, I'm not planning on winning it, but it would be nice. And, uh, you know, for the fellow members to to vote me, uh, you know, I'd be deeply appreciative of that. I'd be, uh, you know, really happy, obviously, uh, but it would be nice. Sean Rash, PBA Player of the Year candidate, on the eve of the decision, state your final case uh, to win the award. Well, I mean, hopefully the peers voted by consistency and stats and, and the longevity of the season. And, uh, you know, we all three had great seasons, but end of the day, I led the categories that number one player of the year is supposed to, to lead, and that was points, average, and earnings, and uh, won the prestigious Tournament of Champions. So, uh, like I said, hopefully uh, the peers voted based off of stats and the consistency of the season. That's how I would have looked at it. And speaking of your peers, what would it mean to be named to this prestigious award by the membership of the Professional Bowlers Association? Well, it would mean a lot. I mean, being out here for six or seven years now and finding a way to win player of the year for the first time would be a, a privilege and an honor, of course, because there's been a lot of great players in our sport that has won this award. And uh, you know, looking forward to uh, many more chances, of course, in the future, but it would be nice to start with the first one this year. Jason Belmonte, Chris Schenkel, PBA Player of the Year Award candidate, state your final case to win the award. Mate, it's, uh, the, my case has been stated when the last ball of the TOC went down. Uh, it's out of my, con, uh, my control. I'm very proud, very happy of my season. Um, whether I win the award or not, as far as I'm concerned, I've done my family proud, done myself proud, uh, and done my coach proud. So that's all I can say. And uh, following, uh, what would it mean, uh, should you win, given uh, that this is a vote this year, not a point system, that the vote is conferred upon uh, and granted by the members of the PBA? Um, it's a really tough question because at the end of the day, because it is a vote, it's subjective. And um, to me, I've always uh, preferred that if, if there was a point system of some kind that, to determine it, uh, it's undisputed. You, you've won it that way. But, you know, if I'm voted to, to be the player of the year, I'll be extremely grateful, very proud, very happy, and uh, I'll be sure to thank everyone that voted me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the announcement of PBA Player of the Year. And it's the David Stern. It's the Roger Goodell of the PBA, PBA Tour Commissioner, Tom Clark, who has the official announcement. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mike. Thank you very much. Welcome to all the Extra Frame viewers. And by the way, there's a big crowd here in Chicago at 10-pin bowling. Maybe let everybody know you're here. <laughs> Thank you to everybody watching at home and everybody here for spending your Memorial Day with us. There's going to be awesome action and awesome action on ESPN over the summer months from uh, the summer shootout, which is taking place here. Um, obviously, we've got a really important announcement to make, and we'll make it really quickly. Um, this is the first time we're doing a uh, Player of the Year announcement like this, and it's great for the fans, and it involves the fans, and, and that's great. But... At the same time, it's made for, for these three guys having some uncomfortable moments waiting for this moment. So a round of applause for the patience of these three great bowlers. <laughs> uh, only, only, one, uh, only one can win this, this award. But one of the main reasons we're doing it this way is so that we can celebrate all three of them. Because they had an incredible year, all three. 
I mean, everybody here can make an argument for each and every one of them. Um, the, through, the, through the history of the PBA, one of the great eras, and certainly the era when I grew up, was, was the late 70s and early 80s, when there were three players that dominated, Marshall Holman, Mark Roth, and Earl Anthony. And their rivalries, their rivalry that they, that they forged over those years, because of the, the frequency of their appearances on TV and, and how they went at it week after week after week was really special. Kids growing up today are gonna remember this past year for what these three guys did because of the frequency of their appearances on television and just going at it one, one week after the other. It was awesome to watch. Again, thank you to these, to these three guys. If you could give them one more round. They, these guys have elevated their games to compete with each other. And in turn, they've raised the, the level of competition across the entire PBA. So again, I thank them. And I also want to just mention the fourth and fifth place finishers in this year's Player of the Year, uh, uh, Pete Weber and Norm Duke, also had incredible years and made great moments for, for fans across America. I want to, want to thank them. So without further ado, uh, I will make this announcement. And, um, and I'll just say, and it'll, it'll be in a press release later, but I'll just say that it was incredibly close. Uh, just fractions, fractions of a difference. But the winner of the Player of the Year, the Chris Schenkel Player of the Year 2011-12 is Sean Rash. <laughs> I'm sure you'll want to say a couple words. Thank you, Tom. Um, this season has been amazingly difficult. Uh, I want to congratulate Mike and, and Jason on a fantastic season as well. Um, for the last year, the three of us have traveled to probably 15 different countries together, competed against each other around the world, like I said, and have seen some amazing things. Uh, Thailand was probably the the most memorable event for me, watching both of these guys shoot 300 against each other on television. Um, the World Series, we all know the struggles I had, the success that Jason had. Uh, the majors, we all had some success. Um, the consistency between the three of us all year long, um, I think we raised each other's levels as the year went on. And um, you know, comparing us to Roth and, and Holman and Anthony and, and those guys are some big, uh, big shoes to fill. I think of you know Pete Weber and and Dick and Walter and Parker and some other guys that I think we all idolize and, and whatnot. But thank you very much to the PBA, the, the members, and uh, my family and my friends. Thank you. Thanks again, everybody. Get ready for some action. I'll send it back to Mike J and, and the Extra Frame crew. Thank you. Well, there it is. The 2011-12 Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year belongs to Sean Rash. And an emotional rash getting to address friends and family here at 10 Pin Bowling Lounge. And a moment that we are very excited to share with you here live on the online bowling channel. Uh, that's it from 10 Pin Bowling Lounge here in Chicago, Illinois. We thank you for uh, taking time out of your lunch break to join us live on the online bowling channel. And if you're anywhere near Chicago, uh, you have the opportunity today and tomorrow to stop by for the TV tapings for the GEICO PBA Summer Shootout. Stop by 10 Pin Bowling Lounge on behalf of PBA Tour Commissioner Tom Clark and Jason Thomas and production assistance from everyone here at 10 Pin. This is Mike Jane Laneside for your online bowling channel breaking news from Chicago. Sean Rash is the 2011-12 Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year Award winner. We'll look for you Monday, June 4th, when we bring you wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the Etonic PBA Senior U.S. Open from Suncoast Bowling Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. The full crew will be on hand, wall-to-wall -wall coverage, qualifying match play, 
and the final rounds of the Senior U.S. Open starting Monday, June 4th. We'll see you then. Until then, this is Mike J. Laneside. Do yourself a favor. Get out and throw the ball this week. Enjoy the great sport of bowling with family and friends at a bowling center near you. Good afternoon from Chicago.